Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, and welcome to the Full Moon in Leo video. I'm Steph Dessar, and I host the Divine Feminines podcast and this channel. So before we get started, please like, subscribe, comment, tune in and check out the current podcast series five, all about empowering yourself for 2022. And we also have some other moon guidance, energy update readings on this channel. We're also on Spotify, on Instagram at Divine Feminines with a Z and on all other podcast platforms. So what is this full moon in Leo about? I'm kind of raising up the vibration and the energy in this one because it's all about going wild, like uh, unleashing and just being, being in your element. Don't hold back. So what does the full moon in Leo mean? Well, right now we're in the sun of Aquarius. So we're in the sun sign of Aquarius, which is all about I know. It's all about being bold and breaking free. And if you tuned into my video around the new moon in Aquarius, I spoke about how it's about standing up, fighting for what you believe in, being a bit of a rebel, right? And now paired with the full moon in Leo, this is a massive energy. This is all about I can. I've got it in me. I've been holding back or I know I can do this. I know I can, right? So the two energies coming together. It's a powerful time. Leo is the king, queen of the jungle, the lion, the lioness. It's all about pride. It's all about being able to step out into your power. It's all about being bold and not being afraid to shine. So yeah, this video, I'm going to be a bit more loud, but maybe this is my time to shine and show this side of me as well. And I think this is the best energy for me to do that. So I see some personal messages in this. But for you guys, there is some massive, beautiful energy here. I know full moons now, what full moons are about releasing. They're a culmination. They are a feeling of you know, emotions building up and usually it's a cycle from the new moon to the full moon and things will surface and you will feel things that you need to release and now is the best time to release. So what kind of things do we need to think about releasing? Well, the full moon in Leo takes us way back to last year, if you can remember, around Lionsgate, which is, you know, the times of the end of July and August 8th. The Lion's Gate is also another portal. So if you're aware of, uh, of those energies, then you'll understand that it's a big activation point. Now, take yourself back to that time and ask yourself, what was going on? What was I sort of addressing in terms of my, my self-worth? Um, what I feel I need to step into my power for? What I might be happy, prideful of? Because Leo is also an energy of control, pride and ego. So there's, there's, the, there's the positives and the negatives to it, but what was I proud about? What was I stepping my power into? Um, what was I having to kind of make a self check and look at myself in terms of my ego? What am I trying to control? Am I trying to control outcomes? Am I, you know, in my personal life, at work, in romance? Like, what is it that, that was going on in your life? What was you confronting? And, and then think about where you're at now. So there might be some themes that, you know, whether it's a situation or people involved or just your own self, right? Because self is the most important. Like, forget about all the other situations. The self, what was going on with you back then in, in July and August of last year? And where are you feeling you're at now? Were there things that you said that you needed to do that you haven't done yet? Do you need to let go of some mental blocks or feeling of I'm not worth it? Or how am I like, how am I gonna do that? I, I wanna do that, but I don't think I can. So there's there's all of those thoughts that might be coming to the surface. There could be some great things that were going on last year as well. And you might be finding that now you're stepping into the next level of that and you're being asked to go wild you know, hone in on that lion, lioness energy, fill me with this guys, and and go through. So I've pulled cards as well, and I didn't mention that at the start, but if you tune into my videos, I always pull cards to just also align the energy. So I'm gonna talk through an energy update of these cards. I actually am doing a special live event on the full moon in Leo for a very small group. Now, this is actually my time to kind of step out because the first time I'm doing an event live like this, and 
I'm only making it exclusive to a few because I really want to work with that energy. There'll be guidance on this full moon, the meditation ritual, um, we'll also be looking at what it is that we need to release and going through some exercises and a meditation ritual and releasing, but also what it is that we want to hone in on. And I'm going to share some of that today in this video. For those that can't join and want to kind of have that self-help guide, you'll be able to do this on your own um, during the full moon. The full moon takes place on the 16th of February at 4.56 GMT or 11.56 EST. Now, I should have said that at the beginning, but I got too excited. And um, most of you probably will know what time the full moon is or the day that it's on. So on Wednesday, the 16th of Feb, it's a great time to set some time aside for yourself and to start thinking about what it is that, first of all, you know, what do I know I really wanna do? What is it that I wanna break free or break free or venture off it might be a new business idea it might be romance and then that's the Aquarius energy but coupled with Leo what is what is it that you know I know I need to sort of shout a bit more about like come together it's also about Leo's in the fifth house so it's you know it's about family it's about connections it's about you know also romance and sex so your connections with others where is it that you may need to you know you want to show up differently or be appreciated or you know you need to speak a bit more boldly now interestingly mars and venus have a thing going on the full moon so they're coming in in conjunction and that's a powerful beautiful energy it's like divine masculine and divine feminine getting it on marvin gay rest in peace um and yeah and this is a great time also for your feminine and masculine energy within to find that balance so if you are in a relationship um it is a great time in terms of romance and intimacy to you know this is a playful beautiful energy with mars and venus it's passionate as well it's a bit fiery we've got that leo culmination so emotions could be running high but it's a great time to find that balance in your relationship you may need to speak out with this leo energy you know things you might have not been saying that you need to express or you want to get across to your partner or loved ones um whatever that looks like now another message i feel i need to share is you may also want to be moving or aligning with others a soul tribe you know some of you are very much on the ascension journey and awakening and like myself and we're all you know we're all equals here and we're just at different phases maybe experiencing different timelines and different symptoms on our journey so you may be also finding opportunities to align with new tribes and new souls and just new energies and this is a great time to find and forge those kind of connections and see where that takes you um, it's a great time to express yourself um, if you need to express yourself differently how am i also being seen in these connections that i already have are they resonating for me um, do i need to release them because i actually want to go into sort of more alignment with within like who I am like and what I'm proud of like what are you holding back on you know you could be a brilliant singer a great um, speaker you could have brilliant ideas you could be very artistic but you haven't drawn in ages or you haven't really spoken and done like a video in a while but you're, you're, you're like you're scared because I don't know you people might not perceive you to be cool or be saying anything sensible well, I don't really care right now and I'm doing this video. But for those of it you know that know me, I would do this anyway without the camera. So now I'm just putting the camera in front of me and I'm saying, hey, I'm inviting you into my space and it's a space where I want you to kind of enjoy with me. And I hope you feel motivated and I hope you feel enthused to really take this full moon energy and take it with the power. Now, yeah, you might cry tomorrow. Um, you might cry, be crying right now. Um, you might cry in a few more days like the full moon energy is quite heightened three days before and three days after i know many that have been already feeling it i thought oh it's not really hitting me and i felt some already some of you could have felt the the rift of valentine's day i mean that in itself can just be a societal 
conformity like you have to do things a certain way and oh i'm less of a person because i'm on my own well if you're on your own you may have made a very powerful choice to be on your own because it was the right thing to do for you so why be with someone that when you're with them you can't be yourself and you can't be the lioness or be appreciated for who you are so it will be better to be on your own but days like that it might push your buttons and so you know just release it with this full moon so what else do i need to say well i would recommend doing a bit of a ritual now you could have a nice like cleansing salt bath definitely try to ground yourself you can walk barefoot out on the grass in the day of the full moon that's beautiful but i'd also set aside some time and this is all about release and purge but also activation and um i'll come on to the reading in a minute i think it's a great time to write down any sort of mental blocks or situations or feelings where you feel you've been held back from stepping into your power from being the like the lion or lioness in yourself from being you know really following what you really want to do and what you're really proud proud about what has been blocking that also consider what has been you know you've been controlling within yourself so within your ego what have you been doing that might you know be a little bit too prideful be a bit stubborn be a bit forceful where do you think that you've been showing up and that you need to kind of release that and and let it go and forgive the situation whether it's with others or you know dynamic or forgive yourself and th th the biggest forgiveness we can ever do is the forgiveness of ourselves because if we can't forgive ourselves loves how are we going to forgive anyone else how are we going to trust and move on in our journey how are we going to transmute that energy and just level up and level up because life is all about continuously growing and elevating and it's a continue like embrace your journey right so have a think through those and write a release and forgiveness list. So it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to do. And then you can also meditate with that and you can burn it under the moonlight, just do it in a safe place. I've mentioned that before. And then I want you to start prompting yourself as to where is it that you're holding yourself back? Where do you want to really push yourself out there? What is it that you want to give um, to the universe? You want to bring forward what's inside you that you're proud about as well. well you know it's it's this energy is a great time to feel proud so even if like say like you delivered a really great project at work and it's this week and oh, great energy to really be like hey i delivered this and this is the impact it created circulate it to key teams really like shout about it like this is the energy to get yourself known it's a great energy to actually get known by your bosses and superiors too and just your audiences if you're doing a vlog or you're doing an event um anything that you are being you know where you're being seen in the world this is a great time to get noticed for that and to step into this use this energy it, i know it's an energy of also releasing but it's also for me it's a very activating energy um and you probably can feel that within my sort of vibe right now because you've probably seen other videos of me and i'm a bit more like subdued <laughs> but this is not that type of vibe right now so feel me guys feel me guys and girls i, I don't want to sound gender specific anyway so i'm gonna share the actual reading that i did i pulled cards and i used chris ann's muse deck beautiful deck beautiful um animations depictions of the tarot and i also used the beautiful jazz yasmin boland's manifestation moonology cards so i've pulled her cards before but these are the manifestation cards now for me i'm pulling these because i want you guys to think about what it is that might be blocking you from your manifestations that you need to release on the full moon and during this energy and what else you want to kind of prompt yourself when you're journaling like how do i step into my power what am i proud about what can i celebrate what can i kind of raise the awareness of within myself and the connection within myself because this year is one of the biggest sort of energies around self connection and awareness it always is but the two 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 portal is coming up and closing on the 22nd of feb so there's going to be a culmination after this full moon and the energies might get a bit whew, but i think if you can ride that wave and kind of just transmute your energy with it there's a powerful force 
there's a powerful opportunity to activate a lot of benevolent, dormant qualities and magical abilities that we all have. So just think about that, guys. Um, I hope you're taking all of this in, but if you have any questions, you know, just leave a comment and um, I'll try and get back to you. Or um, hit me up on the Instagram a DM, because I always love talking to um, the Soul Tribe there. So we're on Instagram, Divine Feminines, with a Z at the end. Okay, so I pulled the tarot cards and it's so interesting. One thing I didn't say is that on January the 18th of this year, the North and South nodes for the eclipse energies and their um, alignment moved and shifted into from uh, Sagittarius and Gemini to Taurus and Scorpio. So this is really interesting because that's also um, the energy of where you're going, your fate and um, moving towards what you're destined to do or predestined. So over this, <laughs> this um, full moon energy, you may feel that stuff's happening and it's like aligning to what you think your destiny is. I can tell you, I feel in many ways, the full moon event I'm doing tomorrow is a massive alignment for me. And it just came to me. I was like, I'm just gonna do it. And it just feels right. And with this energy, I can't feel better than that. Like everything's supporting something that I know I'm called to do and to share with, uh, with all these beautiful souls, with all of you, whether it's live or on a video. So when I pulled the first cards, I, and today I felt right, I felt I had to do the cards upright. I pulled the cards and some of them came um, reverse. Now I still, I read reversals. If you know me, I read reversals. I don't think it's a negative thing, but it didn't sit right. I was looking at the cards and I was like, no, you need to, all of you need to be upright. And I hardly ever get that, but I listen to my intuition, which is important that we need to do it right now, especially during this moon time. The moon is also a connection to our intuition, to our fears. It's the deepest emotions within us and our emotional system is our best guidance system when we can work through that. So I said, I'm turning them up right. So we've got the eight of emotions, which is like the eight of cups and um, the awakening card paired together. They were together. Now, look at this. This is a, a full moon eclipse. So there's something very powerful here which I'm feeling with the Awakening card, that is literally the Awakening card, where there was two very clear messages I was getting. One was about, for those that resonate, and so just take what resonates, one was about your purpose and what you're going towards, and one was a bit about love, guys, so I'm gonna hone into that one afterwards, but the first sort of capture I'm getting was about walking away from things that might be holding you back, walking away and it doing a full circle. So whatever happened at Lionsgate last year and around Leo, new moon, it's kind of doing a full circle and you're at a place where you kind of have clarity and you know, and things have surfaced and you have been awakened to certain things benevolent within you, things that you needed to address and you're doing that work and you're leveling up and you're seeing things that you may have not seen before. Maybe things that are asking you to um, be addressed for your calling, for your purpose. It could be your mission work, where you're going next in terms of your direction of your soul. So there's definitely something very powerful there. Um, now, that awakening is also looking into the whole sort of structures you're building with the Hierophant and what it is that is, is, is meaningful to you. You're building this new sort of starting to build this new formation and one that is meaningful for you and you are super creative. I mean, look at this Empress card. I just love this card. All the planets are there and this is just so beautiful. That light within her is birthing and creating alignment to new ideas, projects, could be even a baby. If when I get into the relationship side of stuff, we can talk about that, but um, yeah it's a powerful time you are in your empress energy you're in a very creative moment right now you're abundant you're bold you're you've got all of this great like vibration there it's a very high vibrational energy it's the divine feminine at her finest and we all have divine feminine and divine masculine within us right so 
don't take that like, oh, you know, I can't be an empress. Men need to have the empress within them just as much as the women do. And just as much as the women need the emperor within us as much as the, the men do. So it's that balance. And this is what I was talking about, Mars and Venus balance. So there could be, you know, you could, there's this definite energy of like creating, stabilizing, building your new structures against your callings as well and, and, and bringing that together. And then what's even more beautiful is you are in a place of wealth, prosperity, self mastery and independence. This is the nine of materials, like the nine of pentacles. And it's, it's, a, it's a card of like freedom and, you know, ability to be able to do what you really want and, and be prosperous and successful at it in tangible ways that's paying you rewards and gains. So whatever that is that you've been working on or, you know, or you think I'm working on something, I'm not, it's not coming through. It's coming. You just have to step into that power with this Leo energy. You have to release those blocks and everything. Follow that activation of insight, inspiration, because you are set. And if you're not already feeling this, it is coming. Trust me on that. It may be that you were working on it in the last sort of months and that's where you're seeing it now. And you're like, whoa, I really, I didn't really think that, but I am. And the, the ace of emotions, the ace of cups, <laughs> guys, opportunities, new projects, new proposals with work, with projects, with ideas, new business ventures. It is all coming. If it's not already coming, this is what this full moon is activating. It's closing out on what it is that was holding any blocks and bringing in those opportunities. It's so beautiful. This reading is just, yeah, it's super powerful in so many ways. I was so honored to pull these cards and felt so blessed. Now, there's, there's a little bit, you know, there's always a little bit of a tangent, but I don't see this as a bad one. So the 10 of inspiration is like the 10 of wands, heavy burdens and things like that. But in this depiction, it's she's trying to, this lovely lady is trying to feed and nourish the ground and the animals and help the world. And I really feel this is um, about your purpose on earth. So if it's about mission work, you know, oh, I've got so much to give, but I'm doing it on my own. But actually, you're realizing now that you don't need to do it on your own. And this is where the Leo sort of full moon is allowing you to see those connections and where you're, where you're connected with others and those relationships where you can partner with others to create this, I know I can do this. And so you are not really alone. Um, so it might have been a burden and it might have been something where you felt you were alone and you just didn't know how you were really going to get those messages across or launch something or kind of create something new. And you thought, I feel like I'm alone here or maybe this is not the time or whatever it is. But no, there are others there that are able to support and coordinate with you. So there is a beautiful energy there this could even just be support of others just being there for you while you're going through major transitions and building your new stability and the what i'm feeling here is the stability is almost already here if it's not for some you know you're on your way there you're walking towards it in so many ways so just just make sure you tap into that internal guidance system okay guys um and then finally it was paired with the the muse of emotions which is the king of cups and, and and the first the first take of my reading of this is this is the balance of emotions knowing yourself knowing thyself knowing your feelings within and knowing how to process those and transmute the energy so you know being able to work with the moon cycles and kind of bring in and purge and just this very stabilized energy um and, and being in love with what you do, because this is an energy of being in love and being really in love with what you do. So you may be already feeling, experiencing that, and, or, you know, you want to stay. Don't feel afraid that if you love what you do, you know, shout it from the rooftops, show the gratitude, like, be like, hey, this is, this is my fulfillment. This is my emotional fulfillment. I'm... I'm built for this and this was made for me and I'm following my passion, right? So yeah, um, I hope that that makes a lot of sense for you. Now, I'm gonna give you the romantic version of this. I've shown you the cards, but what I was seeing here is really interesting is there may have been 
for whoever you know this resonates there may have been a partner and um, for those on the twin flame journey there could have been a divine masculine that walked away he might have walked away at Lionsgate could have been Lionsgate last year or the year before or he might have walked away last year that's coming to an end because he's not walking away no more or she sorry because it's an energy right um, whoever the partner is, they're not walking in way anymore because when they did, they went on a journey to awaken, to really do some deep work. And this could be the last two years. This could actually have been from the Leo uh, new moon a couple of years back even. And that's what I'm picking up on in some instances. And I definitely was getting signs of that earlier this week. So shout out to my girl, Vibe With May because there was something that she was definitely channeling in and I'm, I'm connecting to that energy right now so I just want to shout her out, my soul sister. And um, we've got something very special to share with you guys soon as well so check out those updates. But they walked away to awaken and in that time, you know, they were looking at their structures and what needed to change. But during that time, you were leveling up and focusing on getting into your energy of self and working on your own internal system. They were doing that too. You might have been a bit ahead though because you're already hooking into what it was that you needed to do. And now you're stepping into your power and you're getting more and more independent. They're seeing that and they want that new beginning with you. They're ready as well. They're gearing themselves up to be that sort of counterpart to you that's in a very independent, strong place and able to sort of be a counterpart, be an equal to you. They may have had self-worth issues and all of that, but they really do want that new beginning, that new opportunity in this new sort of era. And that this is a major cycle closing out to the 10, right? It's a major cycle closing out for them and for your connection with them if you're in a separation or on and off situation. And um, they are completely in love with you. So um, I hope that resonates. <laughs> um, okay, so the Moonology Manifestation cards, beautiful, beautiful. Do you know what the first card came out? You can't make this shit up. I was like, I feel so blessed. And this is why I just want to give some gratitude right now for the gratitude for listening to myself to just go and channel with cards and hear the sounds of the angels, hear the sound of my own voice within. Because the first card came out was the full moon in Leo. And when I watch other people's videos, I'm like, nah. Sometimes that happens to them and I'm like, whoa. And it's happening to me, so I know that. I'm in the right place at the right time right now. Um, so gratitude, but look at that beautiful line, go wild. This is why when I pulled that, I was like, I'm going wild on this video. Um, and I'm going more wild. I am not holding back what I have to share with the world. Um, I think I was, you know, I was holding back because I have a corporate career and um, which I absolutely adore and enjoy and thrive at and passionate about and you know doing uh, work with spirituality and the moon and astrology and kind of going into that space and sharing my own spiritual awakening is is you know it's quite like the non-corporate style of stuff but what i realized was i can do both and there is a balance that i can create with both so you may be finding that out as well but i just wanted to share that with you because i'm really grateful for that and i've been stepping out of much much more with that and knowing that i can embrace the two two things that i just absolutely love doing and enjoy and that is a massive fulfillment so i'm giving gratitude massive gratitude okay and um just want to say shout out to the soul alchemist uk because i just got these beautiful um, crystal beads from them. And these are um, the jade ones. It's just so beautiful. And I'm, I'm in my green today. So I just feel like I'm with my Scorpio energy here. I just feel like, yeah, um, it really matched well. So just, I forgot to shout them out, but uh, you know, anyway, back to the cards. <laughs> um, so go wild. I mean, even if you need to like party, get it out of your system, whatever it is you want, this is the energy to just it, or you need to let it out or you need to say something to others or you know what you know 
dance like no one's watching like dance dance during the full moon stomp around put some music on like who said you can't do that right and then we've got know your worth and this is amazing new moon and taurus so what i was saying is this whole solar eclipse the, the eclipse energy sorry uh, the north and south nodes taurus and scorpio it's going to be about what's predestined for you right the alignment but also what it is that you know your stability who you are your your groundedness and the taurus energy so knowing your worth this is the time to go wild and know your worth know that you can do that like no one's no one is stopping you except for you okay no one nobody <laughs> so um the last quarter moon in capricorn leave the past behind so whatever was going on last year leave it behind guys it's gone right like let it go or anything else that you feel is holding you back from going wild and knowing your worth let it go tomorrow the day after the day after that use this full moon energy and let it go okay guys leave the past behind it could have been stuff that was happening in capricorn season especially as well that you might just need to let go of stuff that sort of upset you or hurt your ego you know this is all about also what you need to let go that's kind of made you feel oh pride got in the way of oh, my ego mm -hmm. i need to let that go now because i need to move on like i can't be stagnant in any energy of the past right guys and this one is beautiful take inspired action new moon in virgo beautiful 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 energy take inspired action whatever you're feeling right now don't hold back don't hold back do you know what i've just been going with that in the last couple of weeks i've just been feeling this culmination and it's getting more and more powerful guys so i urge you to just follow that light that guidance system within because it's it's really working you're gonna have your off days i do i have off moments i transmute it and i keep it moving flow with it you don't have to be like heavy hitting all the time. Sometimes you just need to stop. You need to just be, you need, need to be in your feminine energy and receive. And that could be in the same day as that you then get into your masculine energy and you're like propel forward. You could have this kind of going on in one day. As long as you are emotionally intelligent and you don't become your emotions, but you can see them, feel them, let them go. Whew, you're on fire, right? Remember I said that. And then... Full moon in Cancer, let your fears dissolve. I just love this because any fears that have been holding you back, like the ego also associates with a lot of fears. And we had a full moon, in, our last full moon was a full moon in Cancer. So what fears were built up since that full moon in Cancer to this full moon in Leo that you need to release? Like what have you been concerned about? Like let it go because once you let that go, you're gonna step into your power even more go wild and just know that you are worth every ounce of doing that and you can do what you want so i think this was a powerful reading i mean after the full moon in cancer was quite that was a kind of a like oh you know there was a lot that was a very emotive one um i'm a cancer rising so i felt that one but this one feels like yeah it's gonna be intense and emotional like any other full moon but there's a power to this that's just like, whew, and it, look, look, it's going beyond, right? And it's, it wants to go beyond and it does not want to stay within this space, okay? It's expansive. It is all encompassing, all connected, beautiful, divine energy. So with that said, I'm going to love you and leave you, Mwah, my beautiful, sweet, beautiful, lovely souls. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for spending your time with me and um, giving your energy to this video. I hope you have a beautiful full moon. I hope that this insight and this guidance supports and helps you on your journey. And stay tuned, subscribe and check out my other videos. There is a series five last episode on Starseeds out on the Friday. So check that out. But we've also got the last episode, which was on divine partnerships. And especially for those on the twin plane and soul, like high vibrational soul um, journey, this would be a very useful, interesting video for you. And more on twin flames, divine feminine, divine masculine interactions and the growth and the awakening and rising up of the divine feminine is coming. So stay tuned for that too. Love and light guys. God bless. Bye.